Okay, so uh, namaste. Welcome to this video. Um, what I wanted to do today was to, to uh, add some detail. We've already gone over parts one through four of the seven circles broadsword form. So today I just wanted to go back before we go to five, six, and parts five, six, and seven. I want to go back to uh, do some detail on parts one through four. move here, we're wiping off the sword. We're assuming that we've drawn some blood and um, we're wiping the blood off the sword. So the form begins here. Now this is, I'm going to come this way. This is going to be a diagonal cut here to come across the back. So this is the opening of, of, of part one. Over here, wrap, diagonal cut. And if we do this cut correctly, since it's going here, it should continue around behind the back. And as we step into our dragon stance, we want the sword to come so that it is here on our arm. Not, too, not just above the elbow, because then it's going to be into the tendons, and that could cause a problem. One of the ways we avoid that problem is that not only do we bring it up higher onto the tricep, but it's also on our back. So that if we are in fact cutting, if we have pressure on that sword because it's cutting through something, then our back and the, by the tricep is what's giving support to the sword. So that's important. So in that first move, diagonal cut, and the trajectory of the cut should, with the dragon stands, bring it, see my back is against the sword and my arm is against the sword. So as I cut through, whatever is in the way, I've got the support of my tricep and my back. So that the sword, that even though it's a blunt end of the sword, it's not pushing deep into my muscle uh, or my arm because my back is giving it support. So that's the first important point. Catching the dragon stance is important because you want to be able to get that full turn for this next move. So, see that? This cut here comes almost the reverse of the initial trajectory. So it's going here, and after the turn, it's coming here. Cut almost along the same trajectory as we um, as the initial cut, and it all could also be a block, blocking move. Cut. 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 So you got an X cut. I'll do it facing this way, so you can see that X cut. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. And a third cut. cut. That dragon stance is also important because you want to make sure you step in such a way that you're going to have balance as you drop that thunderbolt cut from heaven. Cut. 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 Dragon. Cut. 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 Here, dragon. Cut.
when you come over the head, you can think of that as a smack across the um, head or face of the opponent. You can also think of it as a block. So whatever might be coming in this way, you're blocking. some of that motion, some of that idea. It's all in the, in the wrist. Yeah. So get a little bit of that. And again, if you were making contact with the opponent, you'd be able to do some damage in that process. Um, for when I upload additional videos.